check one two hey guys so it's 11 31 it's 11 31 p.m right now and i just wanted to do a quick welcome video my name is dave reed aka drug free dave i live in brooklyn new york with my fiance <laughs> and our cat, Athena, and I just wanted to say hello and introduce myself and welcome to summer school. I'm really excited to be, um, to have the first day. That's really cool. I'm really excited to be with you guys today and that Kristen and everyone else in Procreate for Beginners felt that I was good enough and worthy enough to share my knowledge with you guys. I'm really excited. So I'm, I'm gonna try to edit this really quick so I can get it out at noon and I'm gonna try to do a little quick tutorial at noon at midnight because officially like it starts at midnight so I'm gonna try to edit this really quick and I'm gonna try to do a little tutorial I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but I want to do one for midnight or close to midnight maybe around like 1230 we'll see what happens um, sometimes doing the tutorial and the editing and everything takes forever but anyway I just wanted to tell you a little bit about who I am and introduce myself and officially kick off the start of summer school. So once again, my name is Dave Reed. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. I've, I have a lot more tutorials on YouTube at youtube.com slash Drug Free Dave. Uh, I'm on TikTok and I do. I also have my own group, um, uh, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. So yeah, so I, I have plenty of stuff out there and I'm looking forward to seeing your work and I'm looking forward to growing as an artist with all of you. So officially, welcome to summer school. Hey guys, so it's past midnight, but I wanted to do a late night tutorial just to kick things off. Um, I already did my other tutorials, but I'm gonna do another one drawing a human. And I'm probably gonna do a Skillshare class on humans. Um, since I always draw animals, but a lot of people ask me about humans. So uh, first things first, download my brushes. Um, it's called they're called Faves. It's my Faves brush set, and one of my brushes is Sketchmaster Two. It's nice and thick. I love using it. So in this, I'll probably use Sketchmaster Two and Sketchmaster One. Uh, brushes are free, and I'll add. I'll include the link. It's a Dropbox link. I'll include that in the um, in the post. Okay, so. I start with my circle here and I'll do the center line. So one thing I do when I'm when I'm making humans or even your animals as well, I do this dome and that's going to be like the eye sockets. So I always do this little dome thing and I, I use that to sort of frame out my eyes. So then I do my big almond eyes like this. So that pretty much gives me the eyes, and then I have this sort of frame for the, the eye socket. Um, eyebrows is what's going to really give your character some personality. So let's give him one eyebrow here, and then maybe something that's a little big. Maybe something like that. Okay. So I use this center line to draw a nose. So if I'm going to draw a nose, if it's going to be a small nose, then I usually make like a, a small diamond shape. But if it's going to be a big round nose, then you can make a round, big round shape. You can make a big diamond. And again, I use this as sort of frame. And then I can, and then I can, if I want the uh, nostrils to be here, and if I want the nose to be round like mine. Then I, do the, I draw the nostrils in like that. I can round out the top. So there's a lot of places you can go uh, for the nose. We'll leave the nose like this since I've already finished it. Okay, so for the mouth, you want to sort of keep the mouth in this same general area here. So I'm going to make it a little bit off to, the, to my right, and I want him to be smiling. So I'm just going to go with a line, and then our little smile line here. So I'll go with something like that, and I'll use I'll darken the, the upper lip. So I'm just using this 
dark to represent the upper lip, and then a bigger, maybe a bigger bottom lip. And darken this a little bit. And we'll just give him some eyes just so you have something to look at. Okay, so for the face, I want his face to be narrow. So I want to make sure, well, not really that narrow. I'll make this a little rounder because his, his cheek would be here. So this would be pushing, pushing up the cheek. So the cheek is here. So I'm going to make this a little rounder. But then I'm just going to round it off to the side. And I don't want his, I don't want his face to be too fat. So I'll just do a nice diamond, slightly pointy chin, and then come up to the slightly round area. So for the forehead, I just do like a small sort of round square on top of that dome that we did. This is the original dome, so I'm just making this around that. So we have the eye sockets, we have the little forehead area here. Um, okay, what do we want to do next? So we'll do some ears. So ears, I try to keep the top of the ear maybe around like the upper part of the eye. So if there was a line right here, then I want the ears, I want the top of the ears to be there. So I'll just eyeball it. And I'll just make them a simple shape. So we'll just give them like big ears like this. Ears are kind of big. Um, but again, if you want to shrink them, if you like the way they look, just use the select tool and select it. And then you can experiment with the shape, make them a little smaller. That's probably a, actually a better match. Okay, so let me, let me just shrink this, bring this down so I have a little more room. So now for hair. So when I do hair, I, I, you have to think of the hair as like a, a beautiful shape, you know, e even if he, even if he just has a regular, uh, round head like me, you know, then you just make it, you make it the round head. But the way that I usually do, like if it's any sort of longer hair or flowing hair, I figure out where I want the part to be, you know, is the part in the middle, you know, is the part over here, is it over here? So I always, I always do this little dash for the part. So that's where the hair will go in different directions. So let's say I want to make it curly and long. So I'll make it really big and just curl it out like this. And just nice and flowy and use, and use curls. So this is one big, nice flowy shape. And then for this side, do some more curls, and we'll bring it out like that. And for the hairline, kind of would come off like this, and then come down towards the side of the face, like the, the um, what are they called? Sideburn type things. Like, they don't have to be sideburns, but that's just the direction of the hair. So let's go ahead and just color all this in just so we know that that's all like dark hair. And again, I'm just using Sketchmaster 2. It's really thick, really love this brush. Um, for his neck, we don't want his neck to be, well, actually we could make his neck uh, fairly thick because he seems like a, a thicker character. But for now, I'm just gonna make it just kind of in the middle of his head. So I always make the neck down and the shoulders would come off like this and it would keep going like that. So that would be the neck. And just to line this up, I'll show you a little bit of the, um, I'll make a new layer. I'm going to use Sketchmaster 1, so that's much thinner. So I, this is my this is my rough sketch. So if I was doing this for a client, or if I really wanted to work this, then I would go over everything in Sketchmaster 2. I would lower the opacity of that bottom layer, um, 
and then I would trace over it on the, on the top layer. And I guess I'll just do it, I'll do a quick version now. So you always want to do a rough sketch of your characters because this is your blueprint. So now you just, now you can easily just trace what you like and you can make things cleaner. So I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm just going to do a nice line here for the eyes. Bring it up and I'm pressing a little bit harder at the end because this dark line here is going to that's going to be sort of a sort of an eyelash type uh, shape. That's why that's always so dark. So you make a regular eye and make this part darker. I always do these little these little tips at the end. I don't know really what that is, but I picked it up somewhere. And for the eye lids, like over the eyes. I always make two lines coming out and going towards the center. So if you look in the mirror, you, you have your eye lid line and then there's like a line above that. Usually, for the most part. So for the nose, I'll just make a two nostrils and then I'll just sort of trace out some of this nose, maybe make a line on top, like so. For the mouth, I'll do that thick, that line, that first line we did, and then I can just do sort of a lighter line for the upper lip. And then I can go back to Sketchmaster and I can sort of color that in a little bit. Because the upper lip is always going to be dark because that plane of the upper lip is, is not going to be hit by any light, so I always darken that, that part of the lip. And now for the, the bottom lip, I don't have to do the whole thing, I just sort of imply it. I just do a little bit like that. All right, and now for the shape of the head. Just trace my lines. Make these lines nice and clear. And now for the eyebrows, so I'll, I'll, I'll give him some thick eyebrows. And we'll just, I'll go ahead and color them in. The eyebrows is really what gives it, gives your characters a lot of life. I'm actually going to slightly color in these eye socket areas. And that's mostly just a, a stylistic thing. I really like the way that they look. Okay, so now we'll just draw our little part there. And since the hair is curly, I'm just gonna make some curls in the front. We'll draw some of our hair here. doesn't have to be perfect since it's just hair. Um, it doesn't have to be really perfect. And another cool thing that I like to do is I like to bring my sketch back up sometimes a little bit. That gives it a, a really cool, a really cool look. So I'm going to erase the eyes. Okay, so let's give them some Let's figure out these eyes. I'm just going to use the solid circle because that's a perfect circle. Oh, I do kind of like those big eyes. But I'm going to do it on the I'm going to do it on the line layer. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So then I'm going to go back to Sketchmaster 2, and I always darken in this eye socket here. Because that just shows a little bit of depth. So I'll darken that in, I'll darken this one in. And I always make the shadow underneath that eyelid. I always do that. 
and then we'll go with white and I'll use the brush shadow 30 um, if you wanted to you could also do a new layer and put it at 30% opacity but essentially I'm just making a lighter a lighter color on the eyes I call them jelly beans you'll hear that a lot in my other videos and I'll go back to Sketchmaster 1 uh, white still on white and just make a nice little circle and we'll sort of try to match those and that gives it that little glare and you know pretty much depending on depending on the human you can do so many different shapes uh, for the face uh, so many different uh, so many different types of eye, eyebrows that can drastically change your character you know just with the change in eyebrows you can really change um, you can really change a lot but we'll go back to the other eyebrow and we'll thicken this line up a little bit but essentially that's how that's how I do my um, that's how I do my faces uh, lots of different shapes lots of different size eyes lots of different size nose um, you can even take the select tool I'm just gonna merge these Oops, pressing all the wrong buttons, merge down. So I'm just going to take the select tool and make the nose smaller. And the person looks drastically different. So there's lots of different things that you can do. You can make it actually bigger too, probably. can make it bigger, you can make the lips smaller, things like that. So there's lots of experimenting to do, but that's just a quick tutorial on how I do faces. Uh, hopefully there was something you picked up in that. Uh, I think that's really, really fun to, um, you can, du you, can uh, you can double the layers to really get a more saturated look if you wanted. And let's see what it looks like if it was all black. I have to change the highlights, but um, but yeah, essentially there's lots of different looks that you can do uh, fairly easily. So again, I have five other tutorials. Hopefully you'll take a look at those. Hopefully you'll find them useful. And I'm just kicking this off for the past midnight since it's 12.32 now. I'm going to throw this on tape um, and then hopefully get it uploaded to the group. Hopefully before one, we'll see how that goes. All right, keep drawing and I will catch you in the next video.